Richard Goodall, from American Gots Talent, seemed like any other competitor, but his background reveals something far more. Benevolent voice belies a life plagued by terrible hardships and agonizing losses. Every note he sings bears the weight of his past. Every song you listen to reflects his melancholy. But what actually transpired in Richard's life to cause his life to be so sad and emotional? Let's expose the hidden narrative behind the man whose remarkable voice is causing a whole nation to cry. Growing up in Terre Haute, Indiana, Richard had a regular upbringing in a small town living in a modest house with a loving family. His early love was music. His ancient Radio Shack stereo became his most prized buddy. Spending several hours in his room listening to music and fantasizing of performing on far larger venues than his little space, he would Richard's musical aspirations started to fade as he grew older as his daily demands took front stage. He didn't go to college after graduating from high school. He needed a consistent job to support himself, so he started cleaning Choney Rose Middle School, just three blocks from his boyhood house. Richard's road clearly took a lot darker turn than anyone could have predicted, and what comes next is a truth that will really leave you astonished. Though it didn't fulfill Richard's intense love of music, this work paid a consistent salary. He committed himself to his janitorial duties for 23 years, enjoying his ability to keep the institution secure and clean. Richard's employment was modest. However, he never ceased dreaming about music. He would often sing while working. His voice echoed through the corridors and classrooms, earning him the moniker, The Singing Janitor, from the professors and students. His impromptu singing at school events, particularly on Veterans Day when he sung God Bless the USA, became much-anticipated gatherings bringing enjoyment and solidarity to the community. Twenty-two years later, Richard decided to perform Don't Stop Believing by Journey, a song that truly highlighted his vocals during a school function. Recording this performance, a teaching assistant posted it on TickHub. Showing the actual force and intensity of Richard's voice, the video grabbed hearts right away and went viral overnight with over 100,000 views. It exceeded a million views by the end of the weekend and even attracted the attention of Journey's members, including Steve Perry. The America's Got Talent producers noticed this video and invited Richard to try out for the show. Richard, eager and a little uncertain, embraced and soon found himself on one of the largest stages in the world, playing for audiences like Simon Cowell and Heidi Klum. His rendition of Don't Stop Believing received a positive reception and a golden buzzer from Heidi Klum, which took him straight to the live events. Rich in happiness, this was a significant turning point in Richard's life, since he believed he was really living his dream. Richard kept winning over audiences with his strong voice and down-to-earth approach as he progressed in the competition, so turning into a symbol of hope and will. His account of rising from a janitor to a possible celebrity touched millions and demonstrated how life may surprise us with unanticipated turns. With a music team accompanying him in July to choose songs that highlighted his vocals and emotional depth, Richard stayed modest during the competition. From technical support to emotional encouragement during the fierce battle, the AGT staff helped him in all conceivable manner. Terre Haute was clearly excited as the people supported Richard, planning campaigns and watching events to help him. Families and friends came to see Richard play once more on August 13th, the day of the live event. Regardless of the outcome of the competition, Richard's sudden notoriety opened doors to possibilities he had only dreamed about. Offers to record records, tour different venues, and collaborate with well-known musicians arriving in. Richard, nevertheless, stayed the modest janitor who used to sing in Choney Rose Middle School's hallways through all this. Looking ahead, Richard intended to strike a balance between his devotion to his community and his passion of music, not only as a janitor but also as a live model of the power of dreams and the need of never giving up, he sought to inspire others, especially the pupils who had always supported him. 
In his interviews, Richard spoke frequently of hope. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation, it is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus. He advised them to spend more time with their family and friends rather than on their phones. Richard's newfound popularity was only the beginning. What followed tested him in ways he never would have considered. Pursuing a dream after rejection, he urged everyone to follow their aspirations, regardless of their seeming difficulty. His life demonstrated the incredible possibilities available to everyone at any moment. Richard Goodall became a national success from being a singing janitor. This was about persistence, belonging to a community, and how music can keep impacting people not only about immediate fame. Richard realized this was merely the beginning of something more as he performed on the America's Got Talent stage beneath brilliant lights and among loud cheers. Richard possessed a voice capable of truly moving people. Those close to him told him his singing was really excellent for years. They pushed him toward a singing contest. At last, Richard decided to follow their advice. Every time he posted his singing videos on social media, he got plenty of love and encouragement. He felt it was time to raise higher. The Voice, a large-scale singing contest, appeared ideal for him to demonstrate to everyone his capabilities. Richard chose a song that meant a lot to him. Don't Stop Believing, practiced intensely, poured his heart into it, and sent his audition video expecting this would be his big break. But the response he got was not what he had expected. Richard's dreams were dashed in an email from The Voice. The email praised him for his audition, but advised he wouldn't go to the following round. It urged him to keep getting better and to attempt once more next year. For Richard, this rejection came hard. He thought he had a real shot and truly felt he was talented. The rejection felt like a harsh punch. He was surprised the voice missed his potential. It was a great, terrible hurt, not only a letdown. Richard had always been told he was good enough. Suddenly, it seemed untrue. Richard, though, was not someone who gave up readily. He chose to find inspiration from this setback rather than allow it to bring him down. He posted his emotions to Instagram for his following. He wrote about his rejection from The Voice and his will to attempt for America's Got Talent, AGT, a venue he felt may value actual ability like his. From his post, it was abundantly evident Richard was injured but not broken. His next aim was America's Got Talent, AGT. Richard was eager to show his value on this other major stage. Richard was not going to allow his lack of talent define him. The voice had lost out on. Though he had a heavy heart, he prepared for this new task, sure this was his moment to shine. Richard brought to AGT not only the agony of rejection, but also the possibility of a fresh start. He brought skill. Notwithstanding all the obstacles, he remained resolved to realize his dreams. Richard's narrative is evidence of resiliency proving that even in the face of obstacles, you can keep moving forward and discover fresh chances for achievement. Richard not only displayed his talent, but also spoke tenderly of his fiancée, Angie, when he debuted on America's Got Talent. On another, more somber aspect of his life, he has remained silent. Richard had another love 30 years ago for a wife he loved greatly before Angie. Her name has not been made public, but their life together is full of love, suffering, and great loss. Celebrating every Christmas and Valentine's Day cheerfully, Richard and his first wife had created a life rich with love and treasured memories. Their smiles, the way they gazed at one another, and the images from these eras all mirrored their close bond. But life presented difficult challenges. Richard's world broke in 2021 when his wife was diagnosed with cancer, a terrible fight they shared. 
Richard experienced a melancholy that altered his life in a way nothing else could have done, even with all his accomplishments. Richard did all he could to be at her side as she battled the disease, a broken heart, finding a new melody. He gave her all love and power to go through, but cancer turned out to be a ruthless enemy. Richard suffered the terrible loss of his wife on June 19, 2021. Her loss caused excruciating suffering. Richard posted on Instagram a note exposing the extent of his suffering. He described cancer as a terrible assault that knocked you down and compelled you to start over, then about doing his best but feeling it was not enough. His words, which expressed the deep loss he went through, came right from the heart. After 30 years of love, laughter, and life shared, losing his wife seemed like losing a part of himself. In his later interviews, Richard discussed the value of savoring every moment and the ability of love to get us through worse challenges. He talked about how music had been a haven for him, a means of expression for his most intense emotions, and a means of communication with others, maybe experiencing the same suffering. His concerts were a kind of therapy for both himself and for others who listened, not only entertainment. Richard motivated many people over his career by transforming his personal loss into a resiliency and hope message. He urged those dealing with comparable losses that they were not alone and that a community's support might be a great healing tool. Many people all around continued to be moved by his narrative which was marked with both terrible loss and inspirational resiliency. Richard never forgot the lessons he discovered from his challenges as he followed his musical road. He discussed frequently the power of loving relationships and the need of helping each other through difficult circumstances. His songs sent messages of optimism, exhorting his listeners to hang on, to believe in themselves, and to keep following their aspirations regardless of how challenging the road might seem. From a modest janitor to a famous musical sensation, Richard Goodall's journey reminds us that at any time life can turn around. It demonstrates how tenacious you can be overcoming even the biggest obstacles with will, a loving community, and a passion for what you love. His story is a striking illustration of how everyday events may result in remarkable results and how every one of us has the capacity to change the world. The images capturing their joyful times together evoke conflicting emotions. They bring to mind what was lost too soon and what used to be. Once his suffering was under control, life had to keep on. Richard discovered love once his partner died a little bit later. Not long after he lost his wife on August 25, he posted a picture on Instagram with Angie, the woman who had brought fresh happiness into his life. The picture's caption, Fun night with my lane at Taco Tequila's, says, Fun night with my lane at Taco Tequila's. Angie obviously has made Richard happy, but it's also evident that he found contentment once more difficult. Richard's life narrative is one of lost love, and then rediscovery of suffering and then healing. It demonstrates how always there is opportunity for fresh starts, even in really sad circumstances. But the old pains don't vanish on their own. Looking into Richard's life, we see a guy who has experienced great grief, but also the strength to keep on, preserving the memory of his first wife near as he embarks on a fresh chapter of his life. Richard Goodall not only performed, but also got the golden buzzer when he turned up on America's Got Talent. Still, he revealed more than just his vocals. He also spoke somewhat about his life. He claimed to be only a janitor and to have a fiancé called Angie, but he omitted more from discussion. Richard kept some details about his background to himself. However, he spoke politely about Angie on the program. He had been married once, yet he hardly mentions his first wife. We have some pictures, nevertheless, that capture a sad yet poignant narrative. Sadly, following a protracted cancer battle, his first wife passed away on June 21, 21. 
Richard still had one more task, but this time he had company as everyone supported him. Richard posted a very somber statement about his late wife on Instagram. I'm so sorry I did my best, but my best wasn't good enough. He said the battle with cancer was like being hit hard, falling down, then having to get up and start over. These strong phrases capture the difficulty of his battle. Over 30 years, they were together, sharing many loves and treasured memories. For Valentine's Day and Christmas, they were always right side by side. These period pictures demonstrate how close they were, but then life took unanticipated turns. Richard rediscovered love following the death of his wife. It looks like Richard has found happiness once more, but it was most certainly difficult to get there. On August 25th, he uploaded a fresh image on Instagram with his new girlfriend, Angie, and wrote, Fun night with my lane at Taco Tequila's. Although Richard sometimes said he was singing with his radio alone in his room and wished he had a band, it wasn't exactly accurate. Actually, he belonged to a local band named Manipur in Terre Haute, Indiana. For Richard, everything changed once a video of him singing became viral on TikHub. His band, Manipur, received a lot of requests to perform suddenly, and by July they were scheduled completely. Richard said, just like that, we're booked every weekend in July. Thanks to the band for their hard work and our manager for booking the gigs. See you folks Saturday night at Archie's Sports Bar at 7.30. Don't miss a note. There was even talk of Richard performing with Manipur in the finals of America's Got Talent. The attention didn't surprise one of his bandmates. Richard Goodall, who used to sing by himself in his room and hoped for a band, has lately become a well-known person. He stated, I knew this was coming. He deserves it. He's just so good, especially at singing. He's the perfect singer for those songs. It was much appreciated when the show America's Got Talent declared they would cover all his expenses to compete. Richard is a janitor, hence his income is meager and he finds it difficult to control travel and hotel bills in California, where everything is rather expensive. Then, though, something amazing occurred that would greatly benefit him. Chris Bond, a Terre Haute, Indiana fellow resident, started a GoFundMe fundraising campaign. Richard Goodall, the AGT Golden Buzzer winner from Terre Haute, Indiana, managed to raise an amazing $15,000. Richard flew alone to get to his first competition in August. He intends to come back and participate for 10 more days. Richard doesn't have to worry about the financial side of his vacation since of the kind support he received. Although he still needs help for some other things, his travel and lodging costs are totally covered. Starting on the 30th of May, 2024, the fundraiser swiftly met its target by the 9th of June, with 382 contributors. His community and beyond have, as well as elsewhere, show amazing, overwhelming support. This group effort has guaranteed Richard Goodall's ability to focus on competing free from financial concerns, having enthralled everyone with his golden buzzer performance. Richard had the chance to play before a sizable audience in August 22, performing Don't Stop Believing, alongside Rudy Cardenas, a former American Idol contestant. Richard boldly stood on the stage that evening, almost as though he had been touring front of house for years. This event was evidence of his progress from his days of singing alone, not only a show of his vocal ability. His narrative of turning from a lone singer into a public star captures the force of communal support and individual will. The GoFundMe effort served as a community gathering center rather than only a means of fundraising. People from many backgrounds came together to help one of their own, to demonstrate that even little deeds add up to have a big influence. Many in Richard's community and throughout the nation have found inspiration in his journey from a modest janitor to a national talent show competitor. It reminds us that everyone can realize their aspirations, given the correct chances and help. Was Richard Goodall hiding from the world a deeper suffering, or was his narrative just about ability?
tell us what you think. Remember to like and subscribe for more as well. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation. It is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus.